Hello and welcome to Renovate's first tutorial on how to use ITK Snap. First and foremost, you need to open the DICOM file that you want to segment. You can already see on our screen that we have ours open. Then you need to select the segmentation tool, which is the snake icon. This will prepare your scans for segmentation. Adjust the slices to accommodate for your region of interest. In our case, we are focusing on the cervical cyst in the spinal cord. We have chosen to work in the sagittal view as it is the most optimal representation of our main focus, the cyst. Once you're happy, please click on Segment 3D. You now need to adjust through the slices once again to find the best view. Adjust the threshold by sight and it is down to the user's discretion to choose your window. You want to be able to see the surrounding structure as little as possible and your structure the most. There is no specific value for the, th the threshold. This is because every CT or MRI scan is different. Once you're happy, click Add Bubble at Cursor and remember to adjust your bubble radius to fit the selected area. These bubbles need to be inside the structure for the segmentation to work. You should scroll through the slices and add as many bubbles as possible on each one to achieve a faster segmentation time. If you make a mistake, you can use the brush tool on the main toolbar to erase any errors. You can also see the coordinates of your active bubbles and can delete them manually if you want. Once you've finished, click next to proceed and on the lower quadrant you can see your cyst being actively segmented. There is a drop down menu on the bottom of the screen, ensure the continuous update is selected. Click start and once you're satisfied with your segmentation, click finish. Now you can see our 3D model of the cyst. Make sure to save your segmentation as a nifty file so it can be opened again at a later date. When you're finally done, go to Segmentation and click Export as a Surface Mesh, and save it as an STL Mesh file which can be used for 3D printers and bioprinters.